Now in this question then, what I've done is I've just copied out a sketch of what we're given. We're told that the volume of this object is 300 centimeter cubes and asked to then show that the surface area is equal to r squared plus 1800 over r. So how do we do that? Well, if we're going to look at the total surface area S, I need to add together all the surfaces. Now, let's start with the top surface here, this sector. So, how do we find out the area of a sector? Well, we're working in radians, okay? So, the area of the sector, you should know this. If not, just go on my website. You'll find tutorials on areas of sectors. What we have, we're working in radians, is a fraction of the area of a complete circle. Imagine a circle all the way around here, okay? It's a fraction of the circle. That fraction is one radian compared with two pi radians. It takes two pi radians to do a complete turn. One over two pi of, which is times, the area of a complete circle, which would be pi r squared. And you'll notice that the pi's cancel, leaving us with a half r squared. So the area of the sector is a half r squared, or you could say r squared over 2. OK, so we've got the top surface. The bottom surface will be another sector exactly the same size, so we've really got two of these. We'll add them up in a minute. What else have we got? Well, we've got this side here. This is a curved surface, so we often call it the curved surface area. So let's just work that one out, the curved surface area. Now, how do we get that? Well, what we've got is, if you were to unfold this, you'd get yourself a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle would be the height times the length. And the length will be this curved arc length. So we need to find the length of an arc of a sector. So if we find the length of the arc, what we do is it's a fraction of the circumference of a complete circle. Imagine a circle going all the way around here. Okay. So that fraction is going to be 1 out of 2 pi, because it takes 2 pi radians to go around one complete turn. That's the fraction of the circumference, and the circumference is 2 pi r. Now in this case, the 2 pi's cancel, and you get the angle times the radius, 1 radian times the radius. Just r then, OK? So we've got that as being r. Now I said that that was the curved surface area, but it, it's not actually. That's the arc length. To get the curved surface area, I need to times that by the height to give the air the rectangle. So we need to actually put times h in there. So I'll put times h there, and what we've got is rh. So I feel that we're in a position now to actually work out the total surface area of the solid here. So let's just come down through here and we can say that the total surface area okay they've called it S is going to equal well it's going to be the area of a sector but we've got the top and we've got the bottom so it's going to be two of these, so it's going to be two lots of r squared over 2. Then we're going to need to add, say, the curved surface area, this side here. So that's going to be add rh. But then you've got this side here, and you've got a similar side on the back. So this shape is a rectangle, and the other rectangle is rh. You've got two of them, so we've got plus 2rh. Now you can cancel out those two twos here, and so what we end up with is s equals r squared, 
and we've got an RH plus 2RH, so that's plus 3RH. Now, we've got a problem here because we've got H in our formula. And what we have to prove doesn't have an H in. We've got to show that S is R squared plus 1800 over R. So, how do we get rid of this H? Well, we can turn to the volume. The volume of an object like this, well, it's a prism. A prism is an object that has the same cross-section throughout its length. In this case, we've got this sector, and it's the same shape, same area, all the way throughout the height here. So, the volume will be the area of the sector times height. So, if we just come over here and we just say that since V equals the area of the sector, and the other sector was r squared over 2 times now the height so r squared h over 2 but we know that v was 300 so it follows that 300 must equal r squared h over 2 and we can rearrange this equation to make h the subject if we times by 2 we get 600 equals r squared h and if we then divide by r squared we end up with h equaling 600 over r squared. Now if we take this value and substitute it into this equation okay, we'll call this 2 and we can say sub 2 into equation 1 what we then have is therefore s equals r squared plus 3r multiplied by h and we now know that h is 600 over r squared. So what we can do now is we can cancel this r, r into r goes once, r into r squared goes r times and so we're there now because we have s equals r squared and we have 3 times 600 is 1800 and it's all over r and that's what we had to show. Okay so I hope you've been able to follow that and that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.